Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scope 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 for the 15th of May. So today Mercury goes direct out of retrograde, yay, so this can make us more clear in our communication, increase our productivity and also just bring a general sense of relief, especially if you've been, you know, battered during the retrograde period. But like I said, I was born in Mercury retrograde, so to me it's like normal and when it's out of retrograde, that's sort of like my retrograde period so yeah but anyway if you have been suffering from it communication can become more clearer you can make decisions now looking at any mistakes that were happened during the retrograde period and making plans to ask for forgiveness or accept other people's forgiveness or whatever needs to be done to repair any communication breakdowns that happen during that period also watch out for being impulsive in your decisions because you can be like yay mercury's out of retrograde let's go and you know do everything just gentle into it because it's still in its shadow retrograde period which it doesn't come out of until the 31st of may 2nd of june so the best use of mercury going direct is that if you've had any issues with completing projects to start doing so now taking slow and steady steps in moving forward and tying up any new sends and repair in any um, relationships and just be mindful of making any rash decisions right now instead like I said it's best to take time out to reflect on the lessons learned during the retrograde period also today the sun enters Taurus so I'm going to put that in a separate file so what I meant to say was check the playlist so you can listen to um, what I've got to say about the sun entering Taurus also today Mars makes a trying to Neptune so it's um strongest today on the 15th of may and going to be leaving us on the 17th of may but still affects us up until about the 19th 20th so it allows us to tap into our creativity our intuition some of you may be inspired to dive deeper into your artistic sort of personal expressive side so it's good for all work in art music and writing as it allows you to be more innovative in your ideas negatively people can become more confused and a lack of understanding in conversations or over what needs to be done in projects so just double check um, facts and ask questions if you feel and saw what's needed from you at this moment some people may just have a general feeling of being lost and unsure about what to do in their life which can lead to a decrease in productivity and a difficulty making important decisions so it's important to be aware of the potential effects of this transit and take steps to you know counteract them such as seeking clarity and guidance from trusted sources or just taking a break to recharge and your batteries and gain a new perspective so you can listen to music you can meditate do some yoga tai chi go for a walk scream punch the air whatever it is that's going to let you just feel a bit more um, secure in yourself but all in all if you feel like you can trust in your instincts and tapping into your intuition can lead to um, a more successful and feeling of you know just feeling secure in where you are at in your life or by coming up with new ideas like you know especially if you're feeling stuck in a creative project by just you know thinking going within and thinking about what it is you really want from life and from your creative project or from your career can really help and give you some valuable insights but it's important to guard against becoming too caught up in fantasy or idealism as well as this transit can make us more susceptible to illusion, deception and manipulation so the key here is to balance our intuitive visions with practical considerations for the best outcomes right now and use this energy to pursue your passions and let your creativity flow freely content creators can use this energy to tap into their creative imaginative sort of like mindset and create content that can inspire, motivate and lift their audiences. Because Mars represents our drive, ambition and passion and Neptune represents our creativity, spirituality and imagination. So together these combination of energies can help you create content that help you get your message across in a powerful and persuasive way. So talking about personal growth, spirituality, creativity, how giving tips and how people can tap into their intuition and imagination and letting yourself be led by your own imagination and more feeling side can allow you to create content that's engaging and informative 
also good for creating motivational videos that help your audience to overcome challenges or achieve their goals as well or you can write blog posts um, and that explore spiritual concepts like mindfulness or meditation whatever the topic you know you choose this energy can allow you to get your message across in a meaningful and impactful sort of like way that resonates with your audience and inspires them to take action which is what content creation should all be about so yeah that was the daily scope 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 for the 15th of may <laughs>